Hello, No Man's Sky, Leviathan, Redux time. This will cover all of Phase 1, except for the optional milestone, how to get the Hermetic Seal, the Anchor, Call of the Void, Take It With You, how to get Liquid Sun, and how to get Ancestral Memories. When you follow this guide, you should be set up nicely for the rest of the phases. So first things, make sure multiplayer is turned off to reduce any chance of bugs, and make sure PvP is off. So the first thing you need to do is get the Harmonic Seal, which drops from the Iterate Repeat Milestone. So do what it says on the tin, kill yourself. So I jetted up and then landed and it broke my jetpack. So I've got no option, I'll just have to drown myself. On a side note, but this and another occasion is the only times you want to die. The game resets, but your bases, you do keep them. So it's best to place down a base computer at every rendezvous point. Well, those little creatures have finally killed me. Now we can start the game proper and reload the save. I spawn in the water, but I want to get to my ship as quickly as possible. Let's iterate, repeat, popped. As you make your way towards your ship, make sure you pick up ferret dust. Destroy dangerous fauna for the oxygen. And any sodium you can find. And of course, get some dehydrogen. And don't forget carbon as well. Got to my ship, a new beginning. Remember to pop your milestones. Let's iterate, repeat, pop that. There you go, you've got the recipe for the harmonic seal. Now it's time to make repairs on the ship. You'll need a harmonic seal, metal plate, your ferret, which you'll get from refining ferret dust, and a dehydrogen jelly. So you need to collect more resources. Best to do it now, but make sure you stay close to your ship so you can jump into it if you're in a little bit of danger. Also remember to pop your memory fragments, they'll give you upgrades, because upgrades are too expensive to buy in this expedition. Okay, let's make a metal plate and install it. Let's use a refiner to create some condensed carbon from carbon. And refine some ferrite dust to make pure ferrite. To make the hydrogen jelly, all you need is the hydrogen. And we'll need another carbon nanotube and the hydrogen jelly to fix the terrain manipulator. Okay, we're all set, we can head into space. Shoot some asteroids to get tritium and a bit of gold. And then very importantly, head to the space station. By landing in the space station and getting out of your ship, it will register in your discoveries. I was looking around the space station for some navigation data, none around. But I will check the trade terminal to see if they've got any copper or chromatic metal for sale. But you can mine copper and then refine it into chromatic metal if you want. Okay, they've got chromatic metal, I'll come back here later. Head back into space and call in the anomaly. Head up to go and speak to Polo. When you speak to Polo, he'll give you a milestone and progress the mission. Now pop observing the cycle, milestone. He'll give you solar ray, which you're going to have to install. And don't forget to pop your memory fragments.
and of course install any useful tech. If you got any Twitch rewards, go and see this guy. You can also pick up the Golden Vector here if you've got it. But you can scrap those Twitch reward ships, get yourself some units and nanites. It'll make your life easier, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you the hard way. So let's leave the anomaly. The next planet you want in the starter system is Lloyden M20, the caustic nightmare planet. But before landing that planet, call in your freighter when you're in the orbit of that planet. Go, go and visit your freighter, have a look around. Essentially what you've done here is you've created a bridge between the space station and a planet you're going to spend some time on. But as we couldn't find any navigator at the space station, let's go down to the planet and find a save point. We hit scan and a building pops up. If it doesn't pop up straight away, keep flying around scanning. You can also use camera mode to scan around. But there's a little settlement there, let's land there and pick up the safe beacon. Let's give me the navigation data that I wanted. Let's have a little search around and see what else we can get. Okay, let's go back into space and call in an anomaly. head to the teleportation terminal. And then jump back to the space station. Exchange my navigation data for a map. You can use nanites, but that's random. I'm looking for an inhabited outpost. Don't forget to talk to a few aliens. That counts to a later milestone. And head to the trade terminal on the other side of the space station. And I'm going to buy some chromatic metal. I bought 60, but you only really need 30 at this point. And head across the other side of the space station and head towards the teleporter. And we're going to jump to my freighter. We're just using it to get close to the planet so we can head down to my spaceship. Head down to the Caustic Nightmare Londinium M20 planet. When you land, get out of your ship and get in and out of it again. Now we can pop the inhabited outpost map. This one was a trade post, I don't want that. So let's reload the restore point and make sure it's the restore point and not the autosave. When the game's reloaded, you should have your map back. So let's pop it again. And this time I've got what I wanted, a minor settlement. You can keep doing it yourself until you get the specific building that you want. But I'm heading to the minor settlement. To get there quicker, head into space, then head back down. There it is by convenient land pad, it's going to save me a lot of fuel. And this is where I'm going to build my first base. Because as you can see, it's surrounded by monstrosity eggs.
So let's claim the base. Or even though it's build menu, to be double sure, make sure you're inside while building. We place the floor panel at the door. Then I'm going to use up all my carbon for a reason I'm going to show you in a minute. Eventually I'm going to run out of carbon, but if I go into the wire shortcut and then hit place and wire at the same time, I get free building stuff. If you want to this, don't worry about making a few mistakes. This is quite an easy one. It's just select your item, go into the wire menu, and hit wire and place at the same time. Or you can see from the shortcuts in the bottom left corner, triangle and R2 in a PlayStation, Y and RT and Xbox and so forth. Now we start some stairs there. And then I'm going to free place a floor panel. And then put snap back on and spread out my floor a bit wider and surround those lovely eggs. I want some windows, so why glitch that one? And then put the walls round. Essentially, I'm boxing that in. Put the angled roof in because the camera goes a bit weird when the roof isn't tall enough. Remember, the whole point of this is to box them in. That's the last bit of roof of this side of the boxing in. And the anchor milestone has popped. Of course, upload the base. And rename it. You might see it in the starter system. It will be called Rod's Larval Course. There's a batch on the other side, let's box them in as well. Make sure they're perfectly surrounded and there's a roof up. Remember, it's all about just boxing them in, but leave one set out in the open. But before I show you how to run it, here's the photo codes if you need it. Now to run it, it's very important to get in and out of your ship so you have a restore point. Maybe upload your save to the cloud. And also make sure you shoot the ones on the outside, not the ones you've boxed in. So I shoot that one egg and the monstrosities have all popped up. I can now go inside my base, shoot the monstrosity eggs. And get those lava cores. Now as you can see, colour the void is now popped. As you'll notice, the smaller room is also a little bit more risky. They're only spitting at me, they're not attacking me. But as I refine my lava course in the bigger enclosure, that wee guy there is not doing any damage. But you know, this game can be a bit weird, so be ready on the reload if it acts a bit strange. So even though it's safer, Still be cautious. So let's pop the anchor. And let's pop Call of the Void. So the next thing we've got to do is install the solar ray. And we need magnified ferret and cobalt. But first, let's sell a few things. I'm selling the Whispering Omelette. 
and that's given me over half a million units, which is quite useful at this point in the expedition, which also gives me the taking it with you milestone. You now I've got some money to burn, let's head back to the space station by calling in the anomaly and then going from the teleporter inside the anomaly. Yeah, it does seem like a bit of a faff, but it actually takes less time than flying across the solar system. And there's a traveller here, so let's talk to him first. Then talk to him again to get his grave. And of course, pick up a few essentials when needed. Like tritium, that means I don't have to shoot so many asteroids. And the Traveller's Gave is on Adua Tua, the nuclear moon. As soon as you land, go into camera mode so you can scan around. It pauses the game and you don't take any damage. There's some high sacks, that's extra cash. And there's a really nice big cave there. Right, let's pick up the glyph and head into the cave to get the cobalt. Maybe I should have made some magnetized ferret back at my base. Ah oh well. <laughs> By you watching this video, you could probably plan it out a bit better than I did. Interact with the humming sacks to get the ambient pearls. Call in the anomaly so we can jump to my base straight away. And then turn pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite. Now we can fully install the solar ray. Now go outside and scan for a mineral deposit. And to get liquid sun, start mining but making sure that solar ray is selected on your multi-tool. I mined two stacks of 600 odd in total. You will need 500. So let's head back to the anomaly and speak to Polo. Now deliver the two batches of liquid sun. Of course, don't forget to pop your memory fragments and install your tech. And then pop bounded testing. To get your hyperdrive and your fuel. Now it's time to go to Rendezvous 1. For me, the path didn't seem to work too well. So I had to select different planets on the way to Rendezvous 1. When you get to the rendezvous system, go to the space station. You just need to get in and out of your ship. And then head to the rendezvous planet. But before I came to rendezvous one, I should have done something else, but I'll come to that later. The first com ball that popped is where Rendezvous 1 is. And 
and as you can see, it's a glyph portal. So let's land there and get anchor point one. It's anchor point, not rendezvous point. As you see, I needed to get this memory resonator done before I got to anchor point one. You can get the gold and the chromatic metal at the space station, or from shooting asteroids, or refining copper, but the ancestral memories, I'm going to show you how to do that. So back at my base, at the starting system, I want to create some creature pellets. Look for some creatures kicking around, feed them or drop the creature pellet, and then simply harvest the ancestral memories. You only get 15, so you have to do that twice. But if no creatures have spawned, the first one you fed, he'll be ready to harvest again. And if you, unlike me, have done this before going to anchor point one, you won't have to do this next bit of going back to anchor point one. But to get the memory resonator to work, you have to go to the anchor point one planet. You don't have to land on the surface of the planet, you can be just in the atmosphere. A loop memory hotspot will pop, so head towards it. By leaving the atmosphere and then coming back down again. It'll probably drop you about 400 U away. And when you're close to the traveller's grave, make sure you call in your ship first. That's very important. Because monstrosities will appear and you don't want to die here. It means you can quickly get in your ship wait for them to subside, or just get out of there. And because of the nature of this expedition and the death aspect of it, I'd make backup saves to the cloud, if you can. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later. Oh,